All right, we gave it a few minutes. We're going to walk in and see if our order's ready now. We'll see if this is uh, ready to go. Should be. Oh, I see one sitting there. All righty. Hello. Yes. Oh, that one. All right. Is that all of it? Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's cotton pads. See how quick and easy that is? Really pretty easy most of the time. Just run in and grab it and go. Confirm your pickup. Confirm. Hit the directions. Four miles away. Really all there is. Four miles. We're looking at four miles. Woohoo! Alright. I'm gonna jump up here and I'll maybe pop back on when we're done. Alright, we'll jump back on. I mean this is the cotton package order I just picked up. We'll jump back on and let you take the ride with me. I mean it's uh says it's going to be seven minutes or 3.8 miles or arrive at 9 11 p.m so let's just ride the uh, ride this out how about that we will ride it out anybody thinking about door dashing it's uh you're not going to get rich and you're not going to quit your day job but if you're looking to make some extra money you can do it i mean a lot of times when I just need some spending cash or, or want to make just a little extra cash instead of sitting in front of the TV, you can drop out and go do DoorDash from 5 or 6 to 9 or 10. And uh, you can average about 15 bucks an hour time you put your gas in there. I mean, if you're, if you're careful, you may not. The first couple times you do it, you may not because you're going to have to uh, get the understanding. And, you, and you'd have to get the layout of your neighborhood. I did a an earlier video that's uh, on on my YouTube channel here somewhere that speaks of uh, jack-in-a-box in my area for instance ever since the pandemic their uh, dining room area has been closed and it's still closed they have a sign on good employees are hard to find and we haven't found any so literally the drive-through is the only option so if you get a DoorDash order for that jack-in-a-box, you know you're going to have to pick it up through the drive-thru. And about half of the time, that drive-thru may have six or seven cars in it. So just know that's going to slow your time down drastically. And that's what DoorDash is. It's all about working quick, fast, and easy. And as long as you go quick and easy like this cotton patch pickup was you walk in it's ready it's sitting there they give it to you bam it's 3.8 miles away or nine minutes go pop this order out go to the next one you're doing pretty good if you take that jack-in-the-box order and the lobby's closed and you're gonna have to sit in the drive through waiting on it I have had to wait 15 20 30 minutes in a drive through before to pick up an order which uh, is no good that just literally ruins your ruins your hour so just remember that you you can't expect to go out the first or second time and immediately make a lot of money and you're not gonna make a lot of money anyway but you know what I mean 15 15 to 20 dollars an hour is possible but you're going to have to get yourself a little education on how to get there because there's going to be roadblocks. Like I say, that Jack in the Box, uh, Popeye's Chicken in my area is also that way to where you've got to go through the drive through So those are two I avoid. Uh, shopping, I avoid. Uh, Dollar General, I'm not, I'm not a Dollar General person. That's, that's my wife's job. She does Dollar General. She does the grocery store. So if there's an Albertsons order pop up on there, I'm not doing Albertsons either because you get an order that's got 10 items on there and most of them pay pretty good. I mean, you can get some 15, 16, 17 dollar orders on there, but 
when an idiot like me walks in Albertsons and I have no clue where anything is, it's going to take me 30 minutes or more to figure out where those 10 to 15 items are. Then you still got to go deliver it. So if you're somebody that knows Albertsons real well or like the Dollar General or you know the layouts of them pretty good, then might not be a bad idea. I just stay away from them. I like the the orders like I just got from most of the restaurants in my area. Man, you can you can go in when it says it's supposed to be ready. It's ready. You pop in there and pick it up, and bam, you're done. And uh, makes for quick quick work. And like I say, this one uh, should be just right down the road. It says 1.9 miles now, so. We're closing in on it. Closing in on it. Three minutes. So I'm going to stop this and come back in three minutes when I deliver it. All right, I'm jumping back on where we're almost there. Uh, one other thing I would tell you uh, if you're thinking about this, Taylor Street, Taylor Street, just remember it's dark now. Uh, I'm in I'm in an area that gets dark at about nine o'clock. The only instructions added by the fifty three seventeen. So you see, when it comes to this time, it's harder to see at night. This uh, fifty three seventeen. So it gets tougher to see. So let's hand them the order. Oh, and they're there, so I'm not going to fall out. Do it like this. if you could see that or not uh, they were actually waiting on me at the door and uh, the instructions on the app said hand them the order so I didn't want to walk up filming then so I just laid it down on my dash to see if you could see it so hopefully you could you see how easy that went I just handed her the order thank you ma'am have a good evening and I'm on my way that is Pretty much the perfect order for DoorDash. Uh, we were sitting there at 8.58 at uh, Cotton Patch. Grabbed our order, 9.14. We are done. I need to mark it as done. Totally forgot. I'm talking on here and forgetting. So finished. So that order paid... You'll be able to see it on here when it when it populates. It's looking for more orders for me. But it should populate in just a second. That was a nine dollar order. Took us about fifteen minutes to do it. Let me uh, trick this thing into. Let me trick this thing into putting us back. So, there you go. You see 994. There's a 994 order, and it took us about 14, 15 minutes to get it done. So, that's really the perfect DoorDash order. Uh, order was waiting when we got there, picked it up, grabbed it, took off. The customer was actually waiting at the door for me when I pulled up. So, that's it, man. That's DoorDash in a nutshell. If they were all that easy, uh, that $30 mark might be possible, but with all the easy ones like we just did, there's always the duds that jump in there like I talked about a little bit ago in the video, that jack-in-a-box that you spend 30 minutes in the drive-thru because their lobby's not open. Uh, 
So just remember, and in the shopping orders, man, the shopping orders, if you don't know what you're doing in them shopping orders, they will eat your lunch because it'll, you'll walk in there and it'll take you 15 minutes to grab five items and get out the store and you've got to pay with a red card, they call it, that they give you and you got to learn how to put that in. It's, it's different, uh, but shopping orders, I just don't like them. They eat my lunch, so I try to stay away from them. But other than that, we're going to sign off here. We're dashing till 10, but we're going to just uh, end dash. That pops that, as you can see, my summary for that one order there we did, 994. And we're done. So that 994 goes directly onto a DoorDash Visa I have. So I can take that 994 and get me some dinner on the way home. That's the nice thing about DoorDash, I guess. I don't want to say nice thing. That's It is a nice thing. That's the nice thing about DoorDash. If you wanted to just go hit one order in the evening, one $10 order so that you could physically eat for free all month, or say free, it wouldn't cost you anything to eat. You could literally do DoorDash just to uh, go ahead and cover your meals. I mean, if that's not, you know, that's, that's an option because that definitely keeps that going and I mean I, I would say I probably clear working four or five hours a night you can clear 60 to 70 dollars time you pay for the gas so not great money uh, your area depends a lot too and the days I mean there's Saturdays uh, there's certain Saturdays that I've worked and tried this that I've made over two hundred dollars just on a Saturday but that's working all day so you know, you put in a good solid 10, 12 hour day on a Saturday and you can clear $200 just on Saturday. So timing is a lot. I mean, this is a Wednesday night here in my area. Wednesdays are not great. Uh, Mondays are pretty good. Wednesdays are not bad. Tuesdays are bad. Thursdays and Fridays are really good. So tomorrow night, we'll probably in the same time frame, we'll actually make a little more money. Uh, Thursdays seem to be that I'm waiting for the weekend kind of guy. Let's order out and then the weekend's here type deal. So uh, not bad, but that's that's my demo of DoorDash for anybody that's curious of how it goes. That's a live, uh, live shot. Be sure to like my channel. I'm doing DoorDash and some other things. We're going to be doing all kinds of instructional and fun and happy deals. We, uh, we hopefully have a trip planned to Cosmel in uh, July so we're gonna be going live videos on our channel for uh, the resort in Mexico so if you're a travel entertainment you like stuff man just say you like my channel we just do all kinds of crazy stuff on it or going to gonna do more and more of it so anyway have a good time guys good evening bye bye